Hi everyone, so it's been a while since I saw all your beautiful faces and I have to say with regards to last week's video Monday, I am so sorry that I wasn't able to get it up for you guys. If you have watched my Snapchat, you know that I fell really ill last week and I was down with a complete high fever for about one week which really scared me because I thought it was something serious. Thank God it wasn't and I'm back in good health. But for this week's video, I'm very excited to introduce to you guys a brand new palette that I recently gotten and that is the Kat Von D Mi Vida Loca palette right here. So this palette is only available in the US and it is a Sephora exclusive because it is Kat Von D's Holiday 2015 collection. So if you guys are going traveling and you plan on getting this palette, you can head over to any Sephora. I'm pretty sure that they will have it there. But I've been hearing a lot of raves and hype about it online. And you know, I've swatched a couple of the colors on my eyes and I have to say that in terms of consistency, everything is just spot on. And I think what a lot of people were impressed as well was the formulation was kept consistent throughout the entire palette no matter the color or the difference in terms of texture everything was just kept very on point so with regards to it let's talk about the packaging first because this is what completely blew me away now unlike any other packaging where everything is rather compact this comes in a rather record player kind of packaging where you just slide out the palette and you get entire spectrum of colors right here and the one thing about Kat Von D is that she is known for her colors but everything right here is pretty much wearable for day to night so it's quite versatile and this actually reminds me of the Urban Decay Electric palette that came out last year except these colors have more of a versatile feel to it because it's just so many things to play with you can do whatever combos and I think that overall this is such a great starter palette to have so with regards to swatches I'm going to be boiling it out to three which is the shimmer the mattes and the satin finishes and and this way we'll be able to pinpoint out the consistency of each one and we'll be able to see whether it does live up to its raves. And keep in mind you guys that I've only swatched a couple like I did say before. Majority of the shades here I have not used yet. So this is kind of going to be like a first impression for both me and you. So I'm going to start off with the shimmer shades and I'm going to swatch it at the back of my hand here. So I'm going to take this color Love and I've been hearing a lot about the green color one in Lenny. And Harpsichord looks like a very interesting orange shade so I'm just going to be taking that as well. So I don't know whether you guys can see the colors from here. But I'm pretty sure they are coming out because they are pretty pigmented from what I can see. So swatching it at the back of my hand, I'm just going to be doing it this way. So at the first swatch, you guys can see that the shimmer shades are stunning. So that is hardly any fallout. The consistency is very creamy and the colors are superbly pigmented. So yes, the shimmer shades do live up to its expectation. Alright, so the mattes, I'm going to be focusing on something a little bit more on the neutral side of the palette. So I'm just going to be dipping into a few colors over here. So I'm going to be taking three. I want the one in Molder, which is this. Noble, which is next to it. And of course, I'm not going to go without black metal. So we're going to take these three shades and swatch them at the back of the hand and see how they pan out. So what I'm feeling here when I swatch these three shades is that the consistency is very gelled. It does not fall out even when I swatch it at the back of my hand as you guys can see. The colors are pretty much pigmented and I didn't really have to pick up so much of the product. So I'm just going to place it next to the shimmer shades here. We're just going to go down this. I think these two can rival one another even though they are different like textures I think they can rival pretty much because the colors do come out and keep in mind these are matte shades you would expect the mattes not to stand out as much as the shimmer but both of them stand out just equally as fine so that's fantastic. Last but not least is going to be the satin shades and I'm super excited for this one because I am leaning more towards the blue side of the spectrum right here and these look so gorgeous. A favorite of mine is this one which is called Sin and this is a very beautiful bright blue but I'm going to be going in with it the dark wave which is the dark one right here and at the bottom called Hyper Ballad, which is kind of like a greenish blue so it's kind of in between. So the satin shades, ooh, this is definitely more creamier than the matte. So as you guys can see, the blues are stunning. And I'm kind of losing sight where I should swatch this at the back of my hand, but I'm just going to put this here for you guys so all of you can see. And whoa, the blue really does come out. First and foremost, these three swatches right here just outweighs all the other shades. It is bright, it is vibrant, and it's definitely, I find the formulation a little bit better 
than the mattes. It's not as dry. Although I have to say the one in Hyper Ballet has a little bit more fallout than the other two. So the satin shades, I don't know how I feel about them just yet, but this blue is absolutely stunning. Color is on point. So from all the night swatches that I did on the different types of formulation, this palette definitely impresses. Now I will be doing the full review after I film this video for you guys in the blog. Details are going to be as of below, but overall I think this is a very solid palette to have for this Christmas 2015. Now I do wish on my part that Kat Von D products were made available in Asia. I think it sucks that a lot of palettes and a lot of beauty products are not made available here for us to explore. So hopefully this video has helped you guys familiarize with more Kat Von D products because her stuff is amazing. And if you guys saw her liquid lipsticks, let me just tell you, you would just pause for a moment and just appreciate the greatness that it is. But that's a story for another day. So if you guys did find this video helpful on the palette, and if you did like it, please give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't, and do follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, all that good stuff. But in the meantime, I'll see you guys in my next video, and 